Hello everyone, it's Nady, and today we're gonna be looking at some fake ass makeup under a microscope. As you beautiful people know, any shit you may have to say, put it elsewhere because this is a channel of positive energy, okay? Thank you. So, how the fuck is everyone today? Oh my god, I'm so tired. Ah. I am pretty sure I'm like running on fumes at the moment. That's why I'm not gonna be like reviewing an actual makeup product because I gotta feel like I'm teetering on the point of delusion and so today I just want to have some fun. We can kind of kick it back, look at shit under a microscope, and I'm not sure if I have any real versions of the fake shit that I have and we can kind of compare the two. I don't know yet. I don't really remember what is in my bin, which is right here. Oh my god, all of this is fake makeup from my Oh God, don't rip my Zara. All of this is fake makeup from my old series, Fake Ass. Ooh, it has been a little while since I've seen you. Oh wait, we have this cat's pajamas palette. I think I have the real version of this, do I? Hold on, I'm gonna look. Damn, I definitely do not. Anyways, like, oh God, it's heavy. Like I was saying, I hope everybody is having a fucking fantastic day. Whether you're tired or awake, you're in snow or on a tropical beach somewhere, I hope your day is great. And I'm so sorry if I act a little bit weird, but I have been a busy ass boss bitch and I still need to film because I love doing it so much. Honestly, I don't know that I have any like real versions. Oh, remember these? I literally keep the Jaclyn Hill lipsticks in a bag in with my fake makeup because... It just, it, it deserves to be here. Oh wait, here's a glow kit. No, I don't have the real one to that either. I started to do a little bit of a destroy video. I was doing like ASMR and I must have done a little bit with this palette because we're missing a few, but this is the Jeffree Star Booty Killer palette. So let's definitely look at that. We have the Jacqueline Hill fake Morphe palette. Oh my God, something is like coming out of it. No, okay, we're good. It actually is really fucking pretty and I don't know how close it looks to the real one, but shit on me, that is bootyful. No, I actually do think I have this palette. Let me check. Son of a whore, really? I don't? I will at least compare it to this. Be oh wait, that isn't, no. One's Moonchild, one's Aurora. Okay, so we will compare it to this shit. And I guess let's just start there and see where this takes us. So if anybody follows Raw Butete Christie, you good, you have good taste. If you're not following her, go fucking follow her. She is the tits I love. Love her to death. Oh, we're a little bit tall. There we go. And on her channel, she started looking at things under a microscope. I think we kind of started doing it around the same time. Maybe hers launched first, but I don't know. We both had a similar idea. And I think she also looked at the Jaclyn Hill lipsticks too. I did as well. It was very, very fucking interesting. I don't know that I used this, did I? I think I used like a black light microscope, which is super fucking powerful, but we have this. When did I use this? Have I used this on this channel? I don't know, but these are for like 20 bucks on Amazon. Bitch, if you think that you are flawless, if you think that you are perfection, get yourselves one of these to tone your ass down because honey, once you see your skin with this, you will not think of yourself the same way. It will humble the hell out of you. For example, let's take a look at my eyebrows. I was actually doing this on a live earlier and there is some weird shit happening with my eyebrows. I need like some head and shoulders for my eyebrows. Although I think it's actually just makeup because I have a little bit of concealer on and I am very sloppy with my concealer. Okay, so there is my eyebrows. It looks more like fucking Christmas in there than it does outside. What is that? Oh. And then you can see go to a place where there's like a lot of hair like my beard if I move it around you can see like the actual hairs like moving oh god it's like seaweed underwater when there's a current it's so weird oh my lips actually look good and like hydrated okay one more thing what should we look at what should we look at nose Actually, my nose isn't that bad I hope let's look at a makeup brush that sounds fun okay so <gasps> oh this is just a um, Morphe, what, flat foundation brush? Oh, I mean, it does have product on it, but that shit is scary looking. That's not attractive. So I don't know if we'll really be able to see anything with looking into these fakes. I mean, I've had them for so long. If there was anything living in them, they would have created a whole fucking colony that would have taken over my house by now. But 
Here we go in with the Jeffree Star Boutete Killer Palette, the fake one. Let's start with Princess, which is this really pretty kind of pinky shade up here next to the neon pink. But I'm just gonna like set it right there. And some of the other colors, because I did destroy this, just got into it. That's actually not that bad. It's kind of pretty. Like that looks like one of those really expensive pieces of art that literally takes two minutes to do. Like you just throw water balloons filled with paint at a canvas and sell it for $18,000. This is very reminiscent of that. Let's go to Confession. Ooh, that's so pretty. I'm kind of disappointed though. I really wanted to see like some weird shit. Um, let's try one more in here. Black rainbow. Oh, that does not look black at all, does it? God, even my soul is blacker than this. And I did say soul, not whole, honey. That is, um, what is it? Rice bitch? That... That is not the correct name, Rice Bitch. Does it not say Rice Bitch right there? It totally does. I kind of vaguely remember that coming up when I was reviewing this. Doesn't that say Rice Bitch? That says Rice Bitch. Okay, well let's look at Rice Bitch and then put this shit away. It's actually kind of like really pretty. Let's do the Anastasia Moonchild fake ass palette because then I can kind of compare it to the Aurora and see if like the pigments look any different. So it just looks like rice that's like fresh out of a rice cooker, like sushi rice. That's not bad. Um, um, blue moon the fuck is not blue okay this one kind of sucks because everything is so pretty like look at that that's supposed to be purple horseshoe the fuck kind of a name is purple horseshoe okay so there's that oh it looks like a winter wonderland let's look at the real one and kind of compare <sighs> okay so here's the anastasia aurora palette very pretty wait 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 let's focus let's focus come on come on baby oh yes there we go ew that looks grosser than the fake. It's got like little chunks of brown. Why? What is that? Maybe it's like gold. It must have like a gold shift. Here's Spectra. That's so pretty too. It looks almost exactly like the fake. Like this one just looks a little prettier, but does it not look super close? Ooh, wait, let's do Orion. I am so sorry if this is boring as shit. I find this so fascinating to like go and dive into this shit deep. So you know daddy loves the deep. Oh, it's like pretty, but not pretty at the same time. That's enough of the real one. Truthfully, they seemed extremely similar. Like I doubt that they are. I'm sure one probably has like rat shit in it. But still, they were both so pretty. I kind of want to see what a lipstick would look like. Do I have any lippies in here? Okay, here is a fake as Max Selena lipstick. R.I.P. you beautiful soul. Oh, and that's actually a really, really pretty red. It doesn't have a smell. It actually has beautiful pigmentation to it. Here we go. Oh, okay, let's focus. That's a weird looking. There's so many different colors in there. Like, you think it just looks like red from a distance, but I see like green and yellow. I don't know if it's just my camera, but it doesn't look mixed that well. Let's take a real lipstick. Eh. Here's a Tom Ford one. It's totally different in color, but let me take that right here. And then let's go on to Tommy. Oh, see, that's the same way. So it must just be my camera. What are those streaky things through it? Oh, it's my skin. Okay. <laughs> oh, it looks like lava. This is a visual representation of how your stomach feels after eating Taco Bell. I really, maybe I should turn the light down. Maybe that's like fucking up with the coloring. Ew. Now it just looks like guts. Oh, that's sick. Hold on. Let's focus it a little bit better. Ew. Doesn't that look like something off of like Dexter? Ugh. Let's look at the Selena one again now that the light is down. Honestly, that is such a beautiful color. Oh, look, there's hair from my hand. That's sexual. I don't like that. I don't like it. it like, I love blood, but I'm not. It, it just, no. Okay, so let me wipe this off. Also, I'm going to be wiping it off with a magic eraser and some setting spray. People are always like, why would you wipe something off with setting spray like I did in my Tati video? And I do it because no matter what liquid you use with this, it could be spit, sperm, anything in between, it will still remove the makeup. And so I use something that's hydrating that isn't an oil, like this hydrating primer. And it just doesn't dry my skin out because I do a lot of swatches, I do a lot of wiping. And so I just find that it helps moisturize my hand. And especially when I'm doing swatches because it isn't technically a makeup remover, it doesn't fuck with future swatches just because there's no like oil to mess with the formula. So that is why I do that. What else do we have? We have the Kylie Kai Shadow Pressed Powder Eyeshadow. 
Yet on the back, it says Kylie New. I had totally forgotten about all of these. Like, I forgot that I did a series called Fake Ass. Like, that part has just totally left my mind. Well, I went to open it and that happened. That's great. That is precious, priceless, and I'm here for it. Oh my god, okay. I don't know what the hell happened to this, but it is not having a good day. Ew. Okay, so this actually has some like weird, dry, bubbly, crusty things. Let's see what these look like. Okay, so here we have the little white clusters. I don't know what that is. Like if it were a real palette, I could probably take a guess. As to what it was, I would say it's probably not mixed properly and it's just the filler. Like, because it's a fake, I, I, I don't, I, I don't know what the fuck this is. Should we, like, dissect it? Maybe if I put a little bit on my finger? Oh, that is weird. It kind of feels, like, sawdusty. That's, like, a little bit wet and moist, but still oddly powdery. Let's try one of the shimmers in here. Oh, that's pretty too. It looks just like all the other shimmers. I feel like when it comes to fakes, shimmers are usually still really fucking good. Not always the mattes, but like when I was reviewing this, it would be rare to find a bad shimmer. Like if there was a bad shimmer in there, just throw the whole fucking thing away before you even try the mattes because they would probably suck ass. That's enough of that. That's boring. Let's dive into this Jacqueline Hill fake Morphe palette, which... Oh, I instantly want to try this blue. That is so beautiful, is it not? Let's put our little... <gasps> oh my god! I love that. I didn't used to love blue, but I would love a sofa, that deep color. That in like deep green, like classy shit. Oh, with like a library painted in green with wooden bookshelf. Oh, Fuck me up. I have much more expensive taste than my bank account allows me for. But here is a green that's similar to like what I like, although this is a bit more emerald. But even so, that's really pretty. Why is there like orange granules in there? Then let's just look at a mat. Oh, that is a messy mat. Mm mm. Ugh. It literally looks like the inside of my wiener dog's diapers after he pees. Oh, okay. So I know we've done a lot of Jeffree stuff on here, but I have a lot of fake Jeffree stuff. So let's do. Posh Spice Liquid Lipstick, which that is a very, very pretty color. I like that. Too bad it's fucking fake. Oh yeah, that is definitely fake. He has never had a doe foot like that. And it has no fragrance, which I like that better. But okay, so let's put that right here. That is so pretty. It's so fucking pigmented. It probably has so many chemicals in there that you should not even be smelling, let alone putting on your skin, but... It still looks pretty. Do I have the real Posh Spice? I do not, but I do have this very, very pretty similar Hydromat Gravity from Gerard Cosmetics Lippy. Ooh, hold on, I'm cooking a chicken and the timer's going off. Be right back. All right, we are back. God damn, it smells like Paula Deen's kitchen in here. So good. All right, so like I said, this is Gerard Cosmetics in the shade Gravity. It is very, very close, although now that I'm looking at it, the Gerard Cosmetics one isn't as patchy. Like, this one is drying down, and it looks really pretty on camera, but this one, you can tell it's it's a bit better. So let me put a little bit more on. And, ooh, this one smells good. That is so funny how close those are. I love the color, and I don't think that one is anything like the actual Jeffree Star Posh Spice. Let me look. Uh, yeah, definitely not. The real Posh Spice is almost like a nudie brown, and this one is definitely a purple grayish undertoned. Uh, I don't even know what that is. It's like gargoyle. I think I used to have a jock strap that color. All right, those are pretty good and dry. So let's look at the fake one. Actually, it's still a little bit wet, but that's okay. So there's the color of the fake one. They're both really, really pretty in color. Why do I not wear shit like this more often? Okay, so here we have it on the skin. Um, okay, so you can tell that it really isn't blended the best. Like, you can see the little red chunks of shit in there. I'm curious to see how the Gerard Cosmetics one is, if it has that as well. And, oh shit, some of the green from the, oh, fuck me, I didn't wipe it off. Okay, we'll ignore if we see any green, but some of the Jeffree Shadow or whatever the fuck we just tested is still on there. What was that, Kylie? Who had green? I, I, I can't remember. Honestly, it doesn't look that bad. Why is there so much shimmer in there? Oh no, that's because of the green. Oh, oh see, I told you I'm so fucking tired and I can't think straight. Oh, we have some fuzz. Definitely fuzz. We see that. Wait, which way does it go? Everything is like backwards on here, like the camera direction. That is 
fuzz. Ew. Okay, hold on. I have to turn the fan on. Woo! Bitches harm. Let's take, ooh! And we have some more fuzz. That's special. Although maybe it's like hair, but I don't have hair on my wrist. Okay, now we are going in with the Gerard Cosmetics one. <laughs> This looks so much better, does it not? Like, I'm not promoting Gerard Cosmetics, although I think I do have a code. If I do, I'll link it to you down below. But this one looks so much better. Like, we can see that, like, very evenly distributed. There's not a bunch of random red pigments in there. Ew! What is that? Why is my skin like that? Okay, so that's really interesting. It kind of makes me want to test out more of these fake liquid lippies. Hold on, let me grab some. I hear my chicken has reached an internal temperature of 165 degrees. I have to go check that shit. Be right back, baby. I'm back and I can hear like footsteps downstairs. I'm so confused. Ron is sitting next to me. Mia is somewhere licking her vag and there's footsteps. So fucking weird. Okay. What were we doing? We were looking for lipsticks. Okay, so I have three or four of them here. After we do this, I'm probably just gonna call it quits. And if you guys want more shit like this, please let me know. If you want me to like destroy it and then look at it on a microscope, then I'm totally fucking down for that. You just let me know. Or if you don't like this style video, let me know that too. I mean, I have so much fucking fake makeup and I wanna do something with it because it's just sitting here collecting even more dust than it probably already had in it in the first place. Oh, 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 I remember this. This is not Jeffree Star. This is Dragon Star. The component looks like a Jeffree Star component, but it is the, oh my God. It is the shade 14. Let's give this a stir. It actually is really, really pretty. I don't know if he has any shades that are like this. I wouldn't wear it even if he did, but it is really pretty to look at and Let's go right there with it. See, like, look at how beautiful that is. And it's so pigmented. Like, I am not trying to sell you on these. Please do not get fake makeup. After years of using it, I can tell you, just fucking don't do it. Either save up, get the real thing if you can't afford it, which I totally understand. There are always dupes to fucking everything. They might not be the exact same, but they are so close that you can get away with it. So stay away from fake makeup. Oh, you know, actually that same thing happened to one of my Jeffrey lip glosses, the real ones. So uh, I can't even be mad that that happened. Let's also add I'm nude. This is also a very, very, very pretty color. Do I have this one? What the shit keeps happening? God damn, do they not believe in glue? Okay, so there is that super, super fucking pretty. It's kind of like... Is it Birkin? Is that one of his shades? Something with Birkin? Birkin, Birkin, oh god damn, I have to Google this. Birkin Suede. That actually looks very, very similar to that shade, so that's interesting. I, what, what was it supposed to be? There is that, and then let's go in with some Lean Cream Diamond Crusher. This one will be very interesting because I think this one is super sparkly, and it's all just congregated there at the bottom looking like Oh God, this looks like slime. Oh, and it smells like dish detergent. And lubrication mixed with a slight fragrance of a porta potty. Okay, let's just slide that right next to I'm nude. Oh wow, it feels very, very cold on the skin. I wonder if there's like alcohol in this. Ooh, burr. It is really pretty though as a topper, but again, she fake. Oh, and this top doesn't come off like the others do. Oh, these tops come off faster than my clothes at a frat party. And then lastly, we have a dose of colors. This is elegant red. We'll see about that. That is no eleganza. That is definitely a purple. I must have like put this in the wrong container. She smells like menthol, wintergreen, and some kind of very, very, very inexpensive cigarette. Hmm, how about that? Okay, this one I'm just gonna put down Oh, it's like not enough pigment to even cover my skin. Oh, I have some real dose of colors ones and they're actually very good. That is about as pigmented as I can get it. That is sick looking. It looks like Barney just blew a load on my wrist. That blue though is so striking. Like I would love to use that as an eyeshadow base, but I also don't want to go blind. So let's start with the Dragon Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade 14. Let's dive right in. That is beautiful. Oh my God. Isn't that? 
It kind of reminds me for some reason of the, what was it, Tarte Icy Betch palette? Was it Tarte that did that? This kind of reminds me of that. Let me turn the light down a little so that it's not so bright and we can get the true blue. <gasps> Fuck me up, get inside me, bitch. Oh, I love that color. Ew, I don't love that. What are those little hole things? You know what it is? Once again, I forgot to wipe this off, so we're seeing the other colors. Ew, okay. Okay, let's wipe this off before we go into the next one. Now we have I'm Nude, which to me looks more like the Birkin Suede. Oh, that's not pleasant. It looks like very, very red skin, like an ass after it got, like, you know, slapped or a good beating. Or I suppose somebody who came in from the winter chill, if you're wanting like a G-rated version, as if we do anything G-rated on this channel, fuck that. Oh, but there's like purple in there. There's a bunch of sparkles. This is gross. Ah, what's that? Oh. Wait, no, I really don't know what that is. All right, well, let's go on to Lime Crime Diamond Crusher. This is supposed to be Fluke. And I feel like this is probably gonna be really pretty, I hope. <gasps> it's not as pretty as I thought it was gonna be. Oh, but look at that. Oh, <gasps> Ooh, the reflections. Oh, Poppy likes. This is what I want my casket to look like when I die because that is probably the only time during my existence that I would be okay with glitter. God, that just got morbid real fucking fast. Sorry. Okay, so there's that one. Let's go to this splotchy ass terrible purple that's supposed to be the dose of colors. Oh, this is like when a kid gets a hold of some kind of paint that you never intended for them to see and they start painting their room and this is what the aftermath looks like and my dry ass skin accentuating everything is certainly not helping. That is extremely gross and I am slightly unsatisfied but still I could get off to this. I'm kind of bummed that I didn't see anything like extra gross so just to kind of feel better I'm gonna take a very very filthy makeup blender. This is so gross. I, I don't, I don't know that this has ever been washed. So, <gasps> oh, still looks better than the Jaclyn lipsticks though. <laughs> oh, the shade. I'm so sorry. I'm excited for her highlighters. You go girl. Really? That doesn't look that bad. Let's look at the Hank and Henry one. That looks the same, but I feel like I'm looking at SpongeBob's pubes. This is absolutely regurgitated ramen noodles right here. Is it not? It totally is. I have to put this away because it's just... Mm. Please let me know if there's anything that you would like to see under a microscope. If you want like foods, if you want anything, I am so down to use this thing. I really enjoy this because the little chemist inside of me just likes to pick shit apart. Oh, I like it. So let me know down in the comments below if you like this kind of video. It's very chill for me. It's very relaxing. And I kind of like this shit. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you all for being my friends and my family. And like I always say, if you see somebody who needs a hug, for fuck's sake, give them one. You don't know how their day is going. You can always positively affect anybody. So make sure you do that because this world needs a lot fucking more of that. Okay, please be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell down below so that you're notified anytime I upload a new video. Don't forget my newest collection of highlighters, including Black Ice, which just changed from black to white, is available at thepoplex.com. Also, my latest album, Kiss of Fame, is available everywhere online that music is sold. Thank you so much to everyone who's supporting them. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter at Official Lady. You can follow me online at thepoplix.com. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and I will see you again soon. Bye. I've seen better things in, like, a locker room drain. <gasps> Ugh.